I want to have our we, we're going to have our dollars and cents segment for this week, where we bring you a good financial tip that can hopefully help you be more successful with your money in retirement. This week, I want to talk about uh, if you're invested in mutual funds, should you only be buying low cost mutual funds? And this is something I get asked a lot. It's, 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 it's kind of been ingrained a lot in our media, in our financial literature. You know, look for low cost mutual funds. It's kind of like anything else. Whenever you're looking at mutual funds, particularly, you've got to look at more than just one thing. Um, you know, a lot of times, some of the things I also hear is only look at low turnover mutual funds. Um, Turnover does result in cost, which is not disclosed in any of the literature. So when you look at those costs, those are over and above what you get with the expense ratios. But, you know, as a rule, it is good to look for low-cost mutual funds because obviously if their expense ratio, if they're charging you less, then it stands to reason you would make a greater net return over time. However, I do not think you should let that be an absolute. I do know some people and heck some advisors that would say if the if the expense row shows not less than say point seven five percent or point eight percent seventy five or eighty basis points, you shouldn't even consider the mutual fund. I think that's that is a mistake while low cost funds is a, is something you should kind of look for. I would not at all make that an absolute. You know, I've seen mutual funds that had one and a half and even two percent expense ratios that were the top performers in their category over, say, three, five, or even ten year periods. And when I say top performers in their category, I'm talking the total net return to the investor after expenses. So don't just look for low cost funds. Yes, it is a sign that at, for the most part you want to be looking for low cost funds, but don't ignore funds just because they're not low cost because you could be maybe cutting yourself off a little bit and and not considering all the best merchandise that's out there. And when it comes to mutual funds, you've got to simply settle for only the very best merchandise you can find because they do have internal costs and fees. Some are some disclosed in the expense ratio, some not disclosed, and so it is. It does make it difficult for most mutual funds to do really well. I mean, most mutual funds, in my opinion, are really really pretty mediocre or poor when you look at the risk that they take on versus the potential return they can give you relative to the stock market as a whole. Uh, but if you look for great ones. I think you can be successful. Low-cost funds, having low expense ratios is something to look for, but don't let that be an absolute. There's no one thing you can point to and say, look only for these kinds of funds. Even within the mutual fund category, I think you're you're shooting yourself in the foot if you say, I'm only going to buy managed mutual funds, or if you say, I'm only going to buy index funds, ETFs that are passively managed. I think you're just kind of, you're, you know, you're, you're not shopping at the whole mall for investments. I think you need to consider everything that's out there, but be careful you don't just zero in on one little bitty thing because there's a number of factors that can impact the performance of those things over time. Okay, that's our dollars and cents segment for this week. And